Hey everyone, Jim Murdy here, your dedicated real estate professional. Today, I'm going to dive into the important document from the California Desert Association of Realtors, the Broker Compensation Advisory, set to officially go into effect this August of 2024. Let's break down what this means for sellers and buyers in California real estate transactions. When sellers list their property for sale through a real estate broker, they agree to pay the seller's broker once escrow closes. The compensation for the listing agreement is fully negotiable. Sellers and brokers can, can discuss various factors such as the broker's expertise, services, and expenses to determine the fair compensation. Additionally, there may be optional additional compensation if the buyer is unrepresented. In such cases, the seller's broker might take on extra responsibilities. To clarify, the broker will act solely on behalf of the seller and not as the buyer's agent. This scenario often involves more work for the seller's broker and thus additional compensation may be agreed upon. California law allows for dual agency where the same brokerage represents both the buyer and the seller. Now this can be done with a single agent or two agents of the same brokerage. If this happens, both parties must be informed of the dual relationship and the total compensation the broker will receive. Now let's talk about the broker agreements with the buyers. When a buyer enters into a representation agreement with the broker, the compensation is also fully negotiable. As part of a recent class action settlement by the National Association of Realtors, brokers must have a written agreement with buyers before showing properties or giving tours. This agreement outlines the compensation terms and, and ensures transparency. Written agreements are beneficial as they establish clear expectations and help avoid misunderstandings regarding duties and compensation. When buyers enlist a real estate broker, they agree to pay the buyer's broker once escrow closes. However, who pays this compensation can be negotiated during the transaction. In some cases, buyer may negotiate for the seller to pay their broker. Alternatively, if the seller is unrepresented, the buyer's broker might approach the seller directly to arrange compensation. It's important for all parties to understand these options and agree on the terms before proceeding. And lastly, there's a significant change related to a seller's broker's offer of compensation. Historically, many seller's brokers used a multiple listing service, MLS, to offer compensation to the buyer's broker. However, due to a nationwide settlement, this practice is no longer allowed. Now, buyers and sellers must separately negotiate compensation with their respective brokers. In conclusion, understanding the broker compensation advisory is crucial for both buyers and sellers in California. It ensures transparency and fairness in real estate transactions. If you have any questions or need further clarification, feel free to reach out. I'm here to help you navigate the complexities of real estate with confidence. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with anyone you might find it helpful. Until next time, happy house hunting.